Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. A lot of the time we want to make organic stuff in a CAD program, but somehow it is really stiff. Today I would like to use a Rhino 3D software to introduce you using the Sub D tool. It will make your model look really organic and flowy like this flower head design. Today we are going to use Rhino 7 tool uh, for sub D and to creating this setting. You can download the stone at the description below and uh, once you get the stone just size it into any of the sizes that you want. All you need to do is subscribe it, the newsletter and I promise I won't send you junk. Before we start, we can call in the sub D tool is under the sub D tab under the menu. You can using the uh, menu right here or you can turn on the sub D tool on the tab here. You have those tab here. Ver the very last one is new in Rhino uh, 7 and you have this sub D. If you click on it, you can have all this icon ready to use or you can like me talking into uh, the place that you like. All right, so once we get in here, we want to click on this create sub D plan. And then uh, right here on the top, you can change the number that you want it. In this case, I have X setting up for four, Y set it up for three. And so when I drawing anything like this, I will get this panel right here. Now you can turn on the sub D, there's a sub D selection tool, and we simply just going to use a vertex. So that way, when we select anything, we were able to select all the vertex. And what I wanted to do is simply to making a leaf shape by making the middle part is a little bit wider, the both top and the bottom is a little bit thinner. All right, so I want to have uh, something like stick it out here, and that is the place it's going to hold the stone. So I need additional line right here, and in this case, we want to insert sub the edge loop. And first of all, we will need to pick up the loop first, and then you hit enter, and then you can move your mouse to find where you want this loop to be. Once you get the position that you like, I'm going to scale it down even more. So this is where it's going to touch the girdle of the stone. Uh, if you feel like you want it to be more nicer transition, you can adjust the shape until the one that you like. Once you have that, let's go ahead to deselect everything. And then we want to select the things and then moving a little bit tilted and move it close to our stone. And I also wanted to make sure it's aligned. So let's go ahead to use align horizontal centers. And then we want to type it zero here. So that will be a uh, correct position. So now you are looking at this, this one doesn't, uh, it doesn't follow the shape of our stone. And besides it's a little bit too big. So I'm going to 3D scale it down to the proper size that fit my design. And then I'm gonna come in into my perspective to look at it. So now we have a one pedal position there, but we need to make it fit a little bit better, right? So that's coming into here, I'm going to pick up the uh, vertex one more time. This time I want to pick up all those uh, right in the middle. And in case I accidentally to selecting my tool, uh, my stone, my stone is actually mesh and it will be select the vertex as well. Let's go ahead to lock it using the command lock and then it will turn it into this uh, dark color. So that way we won't accidentally to select it. Let's come back to using the vertex one more time. And this time we want to pick up all this vertex we wanted to use. I'm going to move it down like this and to make them a little bit more rounded and fitting into the stone better. And then once I'm done, I want to deselect everything, moving this one more close to my stone. And maybe you want to move it down a little bit more, tilt it a little bit more and finding where that you like it at this point i want it to come into cutting into the stone a little bit all right if you like the shape that is great we are going to make them thicker let's go ahead to use the sub d tool there's another one similar like um, offset surface do you have the offset sub d and the icon look like this or you can just type it offset sub d and then we are going to make them offset outside so we want to flip on the top right here on the command bar you can click on the flip all and then 
you can decide it what is the distance. So for distance is one, let's go, go ahead to click OK. And then you are turning your subdi into a solid. However, this look a little bit really chunky. So we actually want everything nice and round. Coming into the top, you have here it's called remove subdi crease. So simply we want to remove the crease to make them rounder. So they will look something like that. Okay, so if you like it and you can continue to edit in and if you like it, that's great to go ahead to polar array. And if you don't, you can still continue to edit it. For example, I'm going to pick up the faces and have this face going up a little bit, maybe more coming out, maybe got more going in. It's up to you for what you like to do. I can also pick up the faces and just do 1D scale, for example, like this to make the tip a little bit more pointed and moving in a little bit. If that works for you, that will be great. All right, you can also um, using the surface tool, let's say I want to pick up one, two, three, and four faces, and I simply want them to go in a little bit, something like this. Right. So if you take a look at my render view, now my uh, leaf or the petal, it will look nicer. It will have that caving and that might be too pointed. We need to adjust it. But that's kind of how you play the, about the surface. I'm going to go back one step here, actually two step here. And then let's say if I want to actually punching a hole right in the middle, how can I do that? We're going to come into the top and then you have this one's called bridge. All right, so what you wanted to do is you're going to pick two set of uh, faces. They are exactly the same. So first set will be one, two, and three. Hit enter. We're going to come in inside of the shape and we're going to click exactly the same faces. One, two, and three. It's hard to see, but yes, we can click it about here. All right, and hit enter, and then really quickly you're going to see it punch a hole there. Now you can have more segments if you want to have two or three or four. I try to use as less as possible, sometimes one, sometimes two. I'm going to keep it two here and click OK. So now you can see we have something like that. If you feel like this hole is too big, what you can do is we're going to come in over selection, and we're going to select the age. And we're going to pick up here, double click, you will select everybody. And now I'm going to 3D scale it down. So that is going to close the hole smaller and without losing the shape. And that will be it. All right. So let's take a look on our perspective view and see if that worked really well. If that worked really well to you, one thing you wanted to do is you want to pick up the faces there. And because we want to make sure it's intersect, right? So I want to make sure that you pass the middle line. And once you have everybody, uh, everything look right to you, and what you want to do is pick up this one. We're simply just going to polar array. So let's go ahead to use uh, array polar. And we want to set it up into the zero. And I'm going to do maybe six of them and see how that look. So let's go ahead to using six of them and double click. And then this will be a beautiful flower petal or the leaf looking for our setting. Let's take a look on the render view. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you really like organic stuff and wanted to build more with the Rhino Subdi tool, you can check out my course. It is specially designed using Rhino 3D software Subdi tool to create organic jewelry care design. Check out the link at the description below. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.